The Colorado Department of Agriculture is excited to share this series of videos that educate agricultural producers about blockchain technology. This first video, along with the next three, were developed as a resource for farmers and ranchers to address some of their questions and concerns as they hear more about this emerging technology. I think in the next three to five years, we're going to see blockchain and distributed ledger underpin the food and ag supply chain. That immutability of the data and that ledgering of the data for the truth in data is going to be what really drives blockchain to the next level. So think of it as a bit like database on steroids. The data can change over time, but you've got a complete history and it's all over the world, safe and protected. There's so many great advantages of utilizing blockchain, you know, from not only being able to protect myself as a producer, but be able to share that data. How is this technology going to change my life? How is it going to change my life on Monday morning? When I invest into this type of technology and they start seeing the potential and the growth that this technology gives. Blockchain is an emerging technology that is helping businesses across the world create efficiencies and increase profits. So how can blockchain help Colorado's farmers and ranchers? To find the answers, we talked with leaders in technology and agriculture in Colorado and beyond. In this first video, we'll get a handle on the basics of blockchain, starting with a definition. A blockchain is a shared immutable digital ledger that facilitates the process of recording transactions and tracking assets on a decentralized secure network. Confused? How about some definitions of key elements? A shared digital ledger. Think of a traditional ledger of transactions at a bank. There's just one copy. Shared means there are many copies, but only for those with permission to access. Immutable means unchangeable. No one can change a transaction once it's entered. A decentralized secure network means no entity, like a bank, owns the network. As a user, you own your information and you share only what you want with people you want to share it with. Next, how blockchain works for the user. Put something in the ledger, it's called a transaction. This is how it works. The first step is you have to have credentials. It's called a digital signature, I am me, but it's anonymous. That transaction can be one data point or many about an asset. To keep it simple, let's say it's cattle that are tagged with an RFID tag that's backed by software that stores all sorts of information, like source of origin, vaccinations given by the vet, the type of feed each animal consumed. But what's really cool about blockchain is it's inviolable. Nobody can mess with it after it's been created. If data needs to be changed because of a mistake, a new block is added chronologically with the corrected information. It's a bit like that Las Vegas saying, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, what goes in the blockchain stays in the blockchain. Still confused about blockchain? That's okay. Just as most people don't know the inner workings of their phone, most people on blockchain supported software don't realize they are using it. I think the future of blockchain and agriculture, it's pretty black and white, it's gonna happen. Producers aren't really gonna realize it, but at the end of the day, the fact that they have a higher level of efficiency and trust in the data that's being provided back to them as well as from them to their bankers is going to be what drives the use of blockchain. In our next video, we'll visit with some ag leaders about today's consumer and how they are driving change for farmers and ranchers.